And that's level staking. So that's every horse that I have. Say, for example, I've got a certain bank, I might have $50 on every horse. Now that could be if the horse is at $2 or the horse is at $11. I'm still having $50 yeah. on every horse. Now, that's great if the horse at $11 wins for you because clearly you're, you're winning because that's expanding. But the unfortunate thing with level staking and the flaw with that is you're spending a lot of your bank on horses theoretically that have only got a 10 or a 9% chance of winning, the same as you think a horse has got a 50% chance of winning. So the other option is proportional staking, and that's the one that I probably advocate. For example, you want to win $100 you have a horse at $2, you'd have 100 on it. So that's simple there. A horse at $5, you'd have $25. So you're still making profit $100 every time. But each time the horse's price gets bigger, you are decreasing your stake. So you, your bank's not going away. So if you've got a horse at $11, well, in essence, it's a 10% chance or something a little bit less than that of winning. You only have to have $11, you only have to have $10 on yeah. it. And then a horse at $26, you might only have to have $4 on it. Again, you're winning your $100. Now, people look at that and go, I've just backed a $26 hope, but I've only made 100 bucks, and they want to have that $50 yeah. or they want to have that big stake on it. But what you've got to think about is it's not just about today. It's about next week. And if you want to continue punting, you've got to go the next week and the week. And it's about responsibly punting. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.